All right, is this thing working? Y'all bear with me, man. I don't have a um, I don't have an iPhone X or 10 or whatever you call it. So we trying to trying to get it together, we're trying to work it out. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get this thing going. It's been a minute since I went live. And um, got to work out the kinks, man. Got an old phone. First person talk junk about my phone getting blocked. Y'all can hear me? Anybody can hear me? Y'all can hear me? I think y'all can hear me. So, you know what I'm saying? I was I was thinking, man. I just seen that. I've been thinking about a lot of stuff. First of all, I hope everybody have a good had a good Thanksgiving uh, with your families, loved ones, friends, all that good stuff. Um, okay, we, yeah, we, we good, we good. So I've been seeing a lot of stuff out here lately, man, a lot of stuff going on with relationships, particularly in the black community. But, uh, you know, I've been seeing a lot of pushback against gender roles, right? Gender roles. For those who know, gender roles like, or things like men should do this, women should do that. Men should work, women should cook, clean, that that type of thing. Um, you know, it's, it's just been a lot going on with that, and I, I see, I've just seen a lot of pushback, more so from, like, women. You know, they're not necessarily liking gender roles and stuff like that. Okay, you can hear me? All right, all right, we good. I'm looking at two different things now, so y'all bear with me. But anyway, I don't know. I, I think gender roles are cool, but I think when people put it out there, the term or the phrase gender roles, I think a lot of people get offended, Maybe more so women, because it's put out there like, women should do this, do this, do this, like a rule or, or, or a chore or a demand or a command. So if you give it, if you give it to an anybody like that, they're going to reject it, they're going to refuse it. But uh, I don't know, but do gender roles really work in 2017? You know what I'm saying? Are we past that? Are, are we past that type of way of thinking? Is that like an old way of thinking? You know? Or are we just, are we just like doing whatever? Or people just doing whatever? Because it's, it's been a lot of pushback from the, from the ladies when it comes to gender roles. You know, not totally, but um, it's been a lot of pushback. But I don't know, man. I think gender, I think gender roles are cool. I don't think you should. I don't think you have to put nobody inside of a box saying this is what you should do because any type of partnership relationship should be fifty fifty. Um, but I do believe there are things that women do better that help a relationship or a marriage. I think there are things that men do better. They have relationship or or marriage or something like that, but it just seems like this day and age, you know, it's 2017. People don't like gender roles, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe I got it confused. You know, I'm 32 years old. I grew up on like gender roles, not in the way of, you know, the Flintstones, you know, anything like that. But I mean, I grew up seeing it. You know, seeing like mother a mother taking care of the home. Not saying that's her only job. You know what I'm saying? Not, not saying that's her only job because, you know, anybody can do anything. But, you know, I, I grew up seeing mother taking care of the home, nurturing, make sure the family's straight. I grew up seeing a father being a leader, you know, protecting, making sure stuff's straight, fixing stuff or whatever, you know, whatever needs to be done. And together, you know, it works. You know, together it works. So I, I grew up seeing that. And, but it's like, it's like this day and age. Nobody really cares about it. I don't know. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of stuff out here. Sometimes I feel like a fish out of water, man. I'll be like, um, I don't get the thing straight. Yeah, I feel like a fish out of water out here sometimes. Looking around, I'll be like, yo, I don't think people care about this stuff no more. I don't know. But from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of, I've seen a lot of stuff work and be successful. Um, you know, but sometimes I think these values may be like too old school for this day and age because it seems like everybody's just doing everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. When I see comments online, I see the fellas might say, I want my lady to do something like this, or I want her to be this type of woman. You know, and I, I see a lot of pushback from the ladies saying, oh, we don't want to do that. You know, or they might come with a negative comment. And I also see negative comments from the fellas saying, oh, a woman need to do this and do that. And it just kind of goes down here from there, man. I, I don't think that's cool or productive or, or healthy. But um, I don't know. I, I, I believe that some... Somewhere between the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, I think a lot of values just got lost. You know, I think a lot of values got lost, man, when it comes to 
like dating and stuff and what a man should do for a woman, what a woman should do for a man. You know, anytime either or says anything what a woman or a man should do, the opposite gets mad. Like, I don't want to do that. It just, I don't know, man. It's just not healthy, man. I don't, it's just not healthy because most men, I guess, especially in my age, we expect, you know, women do certain things. And it's not even like a, I don't know. It's not even like a like a rule or like a, a command or a demand. It's these things that we appreciate, you know, that we see that we see as building a family or building a household or building love. You know, what I'm saying that that helps. You know, and I know this ain't all. This ain't all, fellas. You know, so I know this ain't. Oh, you said you had, uh Yeah, you're right. It's all how you was raised. It's all how you was raised, man. You know, some people raised differently, and I, I. I understand that people are raised different. When I first got to college, I couldn't, I, I didn't understand that people were raised differently from me. I, I did, but you know, I was like, <laughs> I was like, what are y'all doing out here, man? Who raised y'all, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. I didn't know. I was like, yo, I, when I first got to college, I was like, yo, I don't know what's going on out here. You know, I just, I, I, you know, maybe I was too sheltered. I don't know. I'm not saying that to say I'm better than anybody, nothing like that. It was just what I seen. You know, it's what I grew up. Everybody grows up different. Some people, you know, uh, grew up with a lot of dysfunction, and then when they see other things, they can't even, like accept it. You know that's not a bad thing; it's just a reality. You know what I'm saying? And it's all good, but it's about knowing who you are. But anyway, like I, you know, I first got caught, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on, man. You know, I was just like, yo, and I seen something, and I counted something, especially with the ladies. I just never, I was like, yo, I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I seen it like on TV and stuff, man. You know, I was just like, yo, this, what's going on? You know, it scared me, man, for real. You know, and, um, but, I don't know, do with the fellas, we do, for the ladies, we do appreciate, like, certain things in gender roles, you know what I'm saying, certain things like, you know, just women taking care of the home, you know, cooking and stuff, I mean, cleaning, that's cool, everybody clean, everybody can cook, everybody can clean, but in the traditional sense, you know, it's not, it's not that, okay, we appreciate a woman you know, like cooking and stuff. It's, it's more than just the food. It's, it's it shows us you can like it shows like a lot of motherly qualities, a lot of woman qualities, a lot of lady likeness, uh, wife qualities and stuff like that. Now, not, that's not to say you're supposed to do this for every everybody, right? I'm not saying you do this for every single person you meet on the street. That, that's that's not what I'm saying here. I'm just saying in a strong relationship context or a marriage context. That's what I'm speaking of. So let's let's stay on track. Cause I know some people are gonna be like. I ain't gonna do this for everybody. No, you won't do it for everybody. But you know, y'all know what I mean. I hope y'all can hear me. But yeah, so those most guys grow up or grew up with um, their mothers being strong figures in their lives. You know, what I'm saying and just doing a lot of stuff. So we see that it is not the same. You're supposed to be taken care of, as in money and that type of thing. It's more so of when we get together. You know, uh, how is this partnership gonna be? You know, can you build a family? Can you take care of a household? You know, not as in, um, you know, protecting this and that. But y'all know what I mean. So a lot, a lot of guys still have that. No matter how much you see a guy out in the street or whatever, you know, you might think a guy's a thug or whatever. He might be in the street. I'm telling you, every guy appreciates that. Um, and I know, I know with the ladies, I know a lot of ladies appreciate a man being a man. As far as as far as gender roles going on, a lot of ladies appreciate a man taking care of them, protecting them, providing, you know, just doing things that men typically or traditionally supposed to do. I know I hear a lot of ladies complain about that. I, I, see, I hear a lot of ladies say, yo, you men ain't doing it, yo. You know what I'm saying? I see a lot of ladies saying, we gotta do we gotta go both ways, we gotta do this and this. You know, um, and fellas we gotta be honest about that. You know, a lot of times we're not doing it. You know, but um it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But it, it is day and age, right? We have less and less of the two-parent households, like a man, a father, and a mother. I don't know their numbers, but I do know the numbers are bad, you know? Uh, so so that, that does contribute to the mindset of gender roles. You know, a lot of people, a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies grew up seeing their, only their mothers do everything. So that's all they expect, you know. Oh, they see their mothers. They see their mothers. Um, they grew up seeing their mothers, you know, taking care of men sometimes. You know what I'm saying? For real. They, they grew up seeing their mothers do it all, and, and they seen them men in a weaker role, 
or not doing nothing at all. And that is a reality. So that's going to shape their way of thinking. They're going to believe that that's all they have to do, you know, and it's a reality. You know, um, at first I didn't, I didn't realize that this type of thing was happening until I sort of encountered different women and stuff like that, you know, because I, I didn't know. You know, for a long time, I was I, I really didn't know what was going on. Like, I might, I might encounter some women that didn't really understand, you know, how to be in a strong, you know, just a strong relationship when with a, with a guy that's just really being a man, you know, being masculine, whatever. It, it, it was a threat or they didn't accept it, you know what I'm saying? And um, it caused a lot of problems, <laughs> you know, but I had, to, I had to realize that people just grew up differently in a different context, you know, um, but... I think we we expecting a lot of things from each other, you know. And what one thing that does make me mad to both black men and black women, we will we will say to one another that a black man or a black woman has to do X, Y, and Z. But when it comes to a person of another race, we give them all type of leeway, you know. Saying we they don't have to do all this, or they just the best thing ever, and that that kind of makes me mad, you know. Saying because you know we got a whole we can't belittle each other. And then you know, uplift another person or another another race because we're losing out here doing that. I, I don't think it's cool, man. But uh, again, this day and age, man. You said, hold on, I'm reading a comment. Yeah, yeah. So you said a lot of people settle for the type of relationship um, just to have somebody in their life. That's true. That goes to the saying that it's a lot of loneliness out here, man. But why is it a lot of why is it a lot of loneliness out here? That's that's a deep question. I think the topic of relationship, I love this topic, but I think it's a big issue and a big topic in our community, man. Like for real, for real. And for uh, what's what's the word? Disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm not no I'm not no relationship guru or nothing like that now. So don't. <laughs> I'm not no relationship guru. These just my thoughts, man. Things I've seen and stuff like that. Cause you know what I'm saying. I'm on here today talking about this, but tomorrow I might be, you know what I'm saying, pissed off about something. So you know, you never know. So these are thoughts. So let's put that out there. But um, yeah, it is a lot of loneliness out here. You know, a lot of people trying to find love, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but I think that sometimes we're looking for it in the wrong places or in the wrong context, or sometimes we may not be fully finished developing within ourselves. I realize that there's a lot of people dealing with pain out here, unresolved pain, unresolved issues, you know, and I'm not saying that to disparage anybody, but it's just a reality, you know what I'm saying, like, and sometimes we don't know we're dealing with this stuff, and then we take it to the next relationship, and it all comes out, you know, and, and the other person just be like, yo, it's too much, this chick is crazy. I'm just saying, I'm saying the chick is crazy because I'm a dude, you know, so I'm, I'm speaking in a, in a male context, so don't get mad at me, ladies, I'm just saying. So every time I say this chick or something, it could be the same way for a dude. You have to say stuff like that in 2017, you know what I'm saying? Politically correct, you know. But, you know, I've learned over time that a lot of times some of the ladies may, be, may have gone through a lot of stuff in their past, whether it be some father issues, whether it be just dudes dogging them out, and, you know, playing around. You know, or they tried love so many times, they just gave up on it. Or each dude seemed like they the same. And that's a reality, too. And so, sometimes they'll be in a next relationship and have so many unresolved issues that they don't even realize it. So, you might be dating a woman. Just to, just say you're dating a woman who maybe she might, she might have been sexually abused or she might be physically abused. But you don't know that. You may know that, but you don't know it to a certain extent. So... Y'all get in an argument one day, you just raise your voice, like, hey, I'm tired of this. And she just, like, she just wild out. You know, like, wild out to the point of higher than what, you know, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. You looking like, what's, what you like, what's up? Why, why are you acting so crazy? You know, little do you know that she dealt with abuse and, I guess, sexual abuse or a guy raising a voice at her, and it, it makes her feel a certain type of way. So when you do it, you're catching the bad of it. You know, and this hurts for that too. That's what I call unresolved issues, you know. Or oh, let's take it to the dude side. Ladies might be dating a dude who, um, let me find a, a, a strong topic, a strong something that guy deal with. Well, he, he might be dating a dude he, who he's not accustomed to really dealing with a quote unquote good woman. You know what I'm saying? He might, he might, he he don't know. You know, he he may have dealt with just chicks who 
you know, be out there all the time, whatever. You know, just whatever. And you come in his life, you, you subtle, you stable, and this and that, and mindset. And he don't know how to deal with it. So when you do things for him, he feels like he want to reject it. You know, you like, yo, what you doing, dude? I'm doing everything for you. Da, 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 da. And you still acting up. That's an unresolved issue that a male did with. You know what I'm saying? I said, hey, with my homeboy one time, and he was dating a chick. She was a nice chick. She was all for him. You know, good good chick, man. And, you know, he was just like doing wrong and stuff like that. And he just couldn't stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He couldn't stop. And, what was I going to say? He couldn't, he couldn't stop, you know, and I was like, yo, dude, what's up, man? You know, what's what's going on with you, man? Like, is she a good woman? Is she down for you? She ride or die? Everything, you know, she was everything a man said he wanted a woman, you know, loyalty, all that good stuff. All the qualities, you know. Man, that take me quiet, man. <laughs> so anyway, he was, you know, he was doing it wrong, and I was like, yo, what's up, man? You better lose this chick, man. And she just, he, he like, yo, I can't help it. I can't help it, man. He like, I don't know why. He said, I don't know why. You know, and that was a part of his unresolved issue. You know, his men deal with a lot of unresolved men deal with a lot of unresolved issues when it comes to like, you know, physical things, maybe like sex and stuff like that. You know, because men are physical creatures more so than women. You know, it's it's kind of our nature. So, a lot of time, men, you know, they will they will express that stuff through those actions, or they'll give in to their desires, and it, it gets spun out of control. You know, after everybody had like desires and stuff. You know, um, especially young men don't know how to control it. Especially growing up, uh, young men growing up, they, they may not have fatherly guidance or male guidance in their life. So, you know, they just give way to all those sexual desires in an undisciplined manner. You know, but that spirals down to them don't don't know how to control themselves or whatever, and that leads to them being with different women. A woman might be with the dude because she really like him. He might be with her because, you know, he's just trying to, you know, trying to, trying to make something happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but those two are on a collision course for disaster. You know, she's trying to be something stable. He think he wants something stable, but he really just giving it to a desire that don't know how to say, yo, I just want this. You know, and, and that's it. You know, um, it is what it is. But as a result, that sends him in the down spiral, you know, chick after chick after chick after while. You know, he, when he really gets with a chick that's that he really likes. He's been doing this so much to he can't accept just being with this one woman. He can't accept it. Like he can accept it mentally, but he can't accept it like just his his habits are are not in place. And so he's trying to love her correctly and she's doing all she can. She's struggling trying to love this dude right. You know, but he just can't do right. So that, those are unresolved issues. Um yeah a lot of dudes deal with. Well you most of younger dudes but you know it is what it is. So you gotta make sure that Guys, um, his issues are resolved or whatever. You know, it, it's real. Cause a lot of guys, there's a lot of things guys go through that we don't talk about with women. Cause you know, women, you know, we feel like I'm not gonna say you gonna do. We feel like they, they're judges and this. But now take it off. My, uh, this is a family show, man. Get off me with that, man. <laughs> this is a family show, man. You know. But anyway, back to gender roles. Um, I think, like I said, I think gender roles are taking a hard hit in 2017. Like I said, I appreciate gender. I was born in the mid 80s, so I, I think I like the last of the, of the millennials, you know. So I, I still seen that the old fashioned way of growing up, like courting and stuff like that. I feel like my generation was like the last of to really get that. So I honor and I appreciate stuff like that. But uh, you know, I don't think it's appreciated this day, this day and age no more. You know, sometimes I feel like a fish out of water. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I feel like a fish out of water, man, sometimes. I'm like, yo. I'm for real. It's fun. I think it's funny. I, I, I'm a comedian. I laugh, I laugh a lot. I think it's funny. You know, because I, I, like, it's been some real stuff I've done, like, like you, you would think that it's appreciated or it's, it's honored, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Or, it could just be the wrong people. I don't know. You know. But, you know, it's crazy. How can I? What 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 is an example? I'm trying to give a good example so I can narrow it down. Um, let's say something simple like open the door for a woman or something like that. It's just a random example, you know. You open the door for a woman, and she don't say thank you or nothing, and, and, and nobody's obligated to say anything to you, or whatever. 
Well, I'm just I'm just using it for context reasons, you know. And it's wow, you, you be like wow. You know, it's, it's common courtesy. It's, it's like a common courtesy thing. I think that was a bad example, but y'all, y'all, I think y'all, <laughs> I'm trying to go. It's just it's just things that that goes in concept of like gender roles and, and you know being polite and stuff like that. Um, or let's say like the shivery type of thing, you know. Um, I think shivery may be a thing of the past, you know, and it, it, it really may be like you may do a guy may do something chivalrous, and um, I mean I don't, I don't know I don't know if women don't want them no more. I, I mean you know I mean I can't say that I just I'm not I'm not making a declaration of anything. I'm just saying I, I mean I don't know. I'm just I'm just noticing a lot of stuff happening, you know. So I'm noticing a lot of stuff happening for a gender role, you know. And it seems like gender roles are more on the negative side than the positive side. That's what I'm saying, you know, for real, for real. But I know it's not all women. I know it's not all women or all men because I also encounter a lot of women that do appreciate those things, that, that really honor those things. But it seems like they're few and far between, though, you know. So it seems like it seems very rare. Or it seems like they have a certain age, you know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm not making a declaration. I just don't know. You know, this, this is what I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? But... I can only speak my personal experience. Let me just put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, I think general roles being shunned. But there, there are a lot of guys out here that, that love and appreciate general roles. You know, so we love seeing women do certain things. Um, you know, we, we just love seeing it. And it's, again, it's not to say you got to do this, you got to do that. It's, it's not a totality type of thing. It's not like a demand or a command or a rule. It's more so of an appreciated thing. Like we, certain guys, when we see those thing we see wife you know so we see honestly we see um somebody we can deal with we can be with you know for real for real you know and and it's not to say that everybody wants these things either all, all women don't want those things you know and also we have to be honest about this in this day and age in the black community um black women are the most educated group in america according to the studies you know what i'm saying so that's that's what it is so that's changing the dynamic of gender roles too, you know, so that's why I think sometimes some of the gender roles are things of the past because a lot of us grew up with the man is the breadwinner, you know, this, this, and that. And a lot of times in the DNA, women making the most money, you know, and you gotta be honest about that. So, how, so that kind of messes up the psyche of a lot of guys, you know. So, you have to gotta be a strong guy to, um, you gotta gotta be a strong guy to. Be with the woman who make more money than you, but it's kind of a reality nowadays. You know, more so, guys in, in black community, they kind of get that thing going later, more so than women. Women kind of get it going early, and we know a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in society that's contributing to that. You know, but nevertheless, it is what it is. Um, but a guy has to be secure with himself to know that um, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't how it is. You know. Um, but a lot of times too, just say a guy, and a, a guy and a chick get together. She's making more money than him or whatever. It is what it is. Um, a lot of guys sometimes feel like that woman's gonna down him for her being able to make more money than him. You know, so that sometimes that's the, that's in the that's in the back of guy's mind. It's in the, it's a fear in the back of guy's mind sometimes. Like when when is it coming? You know, what I'm saying when when is the when is the hit coming? You know, so a lot of guys just kind of steal from it. You know, but at the same time, there's a lot of guys who don't, you don't, they don't care. They're like, yo, I'm gonna steal a man. You know, you do what you do, I do what I do. Together, we make it happen. It is what it is. But that, that is a reality out there. You know, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's real, man. It, it happens a lot. But I've, I've seen experience, I've seen inexperience like, um, you know, you might tell tell a woman like, "Yo, uh, I got, I got, I got this. I'm gonna do this. You know, I know, I know you can do this. I know you got it. But as a man, let me, let me do me. You know, let me, let me, let me handle it. You know." And a woman might be like, "Nah, I got you, man. Let me do it if I can do it." You know what I'm saying? And um, when a guy says that, he's trying to protect himself, right? Because we see a lot of women out here taking care of men, like really taking care of them. And I ain't really trying to judge nobody. Again, nobody, nobody in particular, because uh, I don't know. But I'm seeing it. there are a lot of men, women taking care of men financially, men not doing nothing. You know, and there's a difference between a guy 
a woman making a woman making more money than a guy, and a guy he doing his thing, getting his stuff together, building, building, building. It's a difference between that and her supporting him, and a guy just sitting around doing nothing. And a woman just feeding him, doing this and that. He ain't doing nothing. It's two different things. So I don't want to group those two things together because, you know, it definitely happens. It happens. Um, but in the case of a guy who's building, who's working on his thing, you've seen him doing his thing, and he says, "Yo, let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Let me be a man, and do this." You need, yeah, let him be a man, and do it because it's not about you as a woman. It's not about if you can do it or not. Cause he knows you can do it. He, you knew you, you know, he knew what he got with. It's not about um, if you can do it or not. It's, it's about him proving to himself that he can do it. Cause sometimes you gotta let a man just be a man, just let him do stuff and not, you know, cause. If you do it too much, you're going to um, take away his ability to be confident for you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he says that. Now, if you if you say, okay, I'll let you get it, then it's cool. You know, but pay attention to those things because those things are very important. For, especially for guys. Because you're speaking on gender gender roles. Because nevertheless, if a woman makes more money than a man, a guy still wants to feel like that our nature is to protect a woman. Our, our nature is to provide for a woman. Our nature is to build for a woman to structure we build it we construct this is what we do no matter society gives these general roles or not this is just our nature you know what i'm saying and um so sometimes sometimes we have to if, we, if we're not the breadwinner we got to find another way to still be the man you know because the last thing a guy wants to do is lose the respect of a woman he's dating you know what i'm saying like to lose to lose that respect you know that, that kills a guy because you know be like hey i can't even you know so let me, let me drink some water i feel like i'm preaching or something <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so back to generals again. So for the ladies, you know, like I said, one main thing guys like to see, like I said, we like to see a woman cooking, man. That cooking, it, it tells. They say food is the fastest way to a man's heart. I mean, it's it's kind of true. You know what I'm saying? It is kind of true because it's, it's like it's more than about the food, and, and we always bring that up. Cause it's a big thing, it's a big, it's a big thing. But we, when we see that though, we we see mother, we see wife, we see somebody who can take care of home. It, it reminds us of family when when woman when a woman cooks in relationships. It, it reminds us of, of a strong family. Things our mother did. It reminds us of love. It reminds us of these things. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important. You know, even if the, even if guys are better cook, even 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 if the guys are great a chef. You know what I'm saying? It's not a really about the food per se. It is, but it's not. It's it's really about the message. You know how how he views you, how he sees you. You know, and it's all good. And and again, this isn't, it's not so you supposed to do this for every single guy. I do think, um, as far as like um, longevity, a guy should show that he's worthy of those things. You know what I'm saying? This I'm, I'm speaking in terms of strong relationships and marriages and stuff like that. I ain't never married, so I ain't trying to go to that level. But you know what I'm saying. You know, um, so it's, it's it's real. So, but we we appreciate those things. So, cooking, uh, of course, like children and stuff like that. How you interact with kids? I got look, guys watch this type of stuff. You know, caring. You know, um, I mean, cleaning cleaning and stuff too. I mean, cleaning is, everybody should do it. You know, but it's it's the way it's again it's the way a woman does it. You know, what I'm saying like the way she go about it with her her initiatives and stuff like that. Guys watch that type of stuff. We appreciate that type of stuff. Um, you know, I mean, those, those two are like, two are like the biggest things, man. You know, just just being a woman. You know, just being just being a woman, being a lady. You know, those things we appreciate. And I'm not a woman, but I know I do. Like I said before, I know women do appreciate. Um, you know, guys being a man. You know, doing things that men are supposed to do. If something broke, gotta fix it. You know, taking care of the house. You know, being protective of her. Make sure she's feeling safe. Make sure she's feeling good. You know. Dates and stuff, you know, um, paying for things, you know, um, just making, just making, a, just making it be straight, man. Being, a, being a man about the situation, leadership, leading. You know, a lot of time now, guys, we, <clears throat> a lot of time we put, we put ladies in a leadership role, but I do know ladies, as far as gender roles are concerned, leadership and discipline is a big thing with guys because if you, if you can't show one that you can lead, and all the, all those other things not gonna come, you know. So those are some things that gym, uh, when a uh, Mm. Gender roles also. Uh,
So you saying I'm trying to read? I'm reading on my, on my laptop. So give me one second. I said, so what would a woman do when she's the breadwinner and gives the again? Right. So yeah. So I think I said that a little earlier. So what should a woman do if she's the breadwinner? And this and this is like this is real. That's a real question because this is real, man. This is like the reality of a lot of relationships, especially in the black community. You know, um, again, a guy has to make sure he's secure in himself. If the woman is the breadwinner, you know what I'm saying? Because most, I, I, I will, I'm gonna venture out to say that most guys who probably like 25 and up, maybe 23 and up, kind of grew up with the general role, be like you the man, da 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 da. And the reality is that black women are the most educated, they're making the most money, and you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about overall, that's the reality. So it breaks our understanding, and we go right into like boom. Because a lot of times you get with women, they a lot of times women don't necessarily need your money. And that's just the truth. As far as guys, women don't need it. You know, a lot of times women not even looking. Well, I don't know. I'm speaking just from a male perspective. So if I'm wrong, correct me. But I don't think a lot of times women are not necessarily looking for your money. You know, for a guy's money. They mostly looking for, like, stability. You know what I'm saying? They ain't looking for no broke dude or like that. But I'm just saying. You know, but to answer your question, I think I think a guy, he need, I think a guy he need, he need to be more secure in himself and be working towards making more money. You know what I'm saying? It, it can be it can be intimidating to a guy, you know, because <clears throat> he knows that she can go get another guy with more money and, and who's doing it. You know what I'm saying? He he knows that. So that's always a thought. And he, it keeps him on his toes. And it kinda of, it, it kinda of make him insecure. But if he's a strong guy, he can accept what he can accept the reality of what it is. But I think he'll have to show that woman who he is and he's able to do it, you know, make and make it happen and get it in different ways. Cause in this day and age, you know, you have to get a lot of money and get money in a lot of different ways and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but that's, that's real, man. That's, that's all real because, you know, but how, how would we feel if she takes somebody else with more money though, man? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, that's to the pride of a man that, that break him down, you know, but, Definitely, if this guy not showing a woman that he's able to leave or able to get it, you know, or just he just laying around or doing whatever, he's gonna have a hard time. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's, it's it's that's a tricky one, man. But like I said, I spoke about it a little a little while ago. It's, it's a tricky one because, but it's the reality of most relationships right now in the black community. You know, um, women getting it. And that's not to hate on. I applaud women for getting it. You know, because you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, but <clears throat> guys gotta step it up. You guys gotta step it up. There's a lot of ways out here to make money nowadays. And most times, you know, we're not gonna get in these. Well, I ain't say we're not, but it's, it's hard to get into these corporate settings and stuff like that. So we have to find other ways to make it happen. Um, you say a lot of people don't practice self love. Yeah, I think they are trying to fill the void that's there and the, the pressure of societies. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta invest in the best version of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like you're saying, you gotta, you gotta invest in the, the best version of yourself. I, I believe that's true. You know, um, like I said earlier, we are dealing, I think we are dealing with a lot of hurt and pain in the black community as far as it comes to relationships. You know, um, cause we just, I think both men and women have just been, have been through a lot. You know, we've been through a lot. And I think it's causing anger toward one another, a lot of resentment. It's, it's frustrating, you know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of times we just come out with it in, in, in anger. Um, but I know a lot of women are frustrated with certain things. They are, man. I'm, you know, a lot of guys are frustrated. Everybody's frustrated. <laughs> I think everybody is tired of the BS, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that's just the truth, you know. It is. Everybody's tired of the BS, man. Really, people just trying to, people trying to love and be loved, man. You know what I'm saying? Um... It's, it's a little funny, but dating, it's, dating 2017 is a little, it's a little crazy, man. I mean, I, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I'm, a, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like an old school person, so I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm using old school tactics in a new school world, and it just be, it be kind of crazy. I be laughing, like, cause the stuff I've seen and heard, you know, I'm like, man, you know, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> It blows my mind, man. Cause I was like, yo, what's going on out here? Who raised y'all? You know? It's it's funny. But, um... Yeah. 
rest the process. Let's talk about um, slow, slow relationships. That's another thing. That's kind of a thing of the past. Maybe it's not. Like I said, I'm not the guru in this. These just are my thoughts. Um, some of my experiences. You know, cause like I said, I'm talking about this today, but tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? I might be on hit pissed off or something, you know, or, you know, but personally, I feel like taking your time relationships is the way to go. You know, I feel like it's the way to go. I'm trying to, if you're really serious about somebody, you're trying to like really be with them, you know, you're looking for marriage and this and that, you know, if you're just trying to have a good time, that's a whole nother topic. But for the topic of, you know, trying to look for a mate, a husband, or a wife, somebody feels I can be with, I think you should take your time, you know, um, to build, grow, be friends, and this and that, you know, and this is not, I know this is not work for everybody, because I do know some people who only been together maybe about a couple of months, and they, they and they happily in love, you know what I'm saying, and they, they perfect for each other, they happily in love, they're doing their thing, they're having a good time. I ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, if it works, it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But generally, for the, but those are the exceptions. It's, just, it's exceptional to everything, in my opinion. You know, so I'm not speaking in totality. I'm speaking in, in general. So in general, generally speaking, I think the best route to go is take your time, you know, um, because it builds momentum. You know, it builds, you know, it builds love. It builds desire. It builds mm -hmm. discipline. It builds foundation for a relationship. It, it, it builds these things. You know, um, somebody takes me. But it, it builds these things. So, you know, you don't really, you don't really, you don't really have to uh, rush for a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is hard sometimes because it's so much going on out here that when you do take time and build with somebody, something crazy happens and it's all over. That is the risk. And the people say, the people say love is a risk. But I found, I found out that um, when you take time, when we really take time and build with somebody and grow. It, it's like the the strongest, hottest, bestest love. You know, I mean, it's just like a, it's a, it's a different type of passion when you really, really do it. When both people are on the same page, you know what I'm saying. And every every relationship is uh, unique, is on their own. So I don't think you should have to build and do these, do these things. That I'm saying as to my rules or to society's rules. But I do think there are certain principles that help us, guide us along, govern, you know what I'm saying? But I do think taking time and just moving, moving slowly is the best way to go. Because if you're going to be with somebody the rest of your life, you got the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? And, but this is not this is not to say that, I know some of y'all probably think like, man, I've seen people engaged for like 10 years. I ain't talking about that. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know. I don't, I'm not talking about taking 10 years. I'm not talking about that. I think common sense will tell us what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about just before you get to engagement whatever, or whatever, just make sure you have a solid foundation with that person because it's going to be the best. You know, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna fall in love with that person. Personality, mind, um, everything. You know, so as a guy, when a guy, when a guy really loves you for your mind, your heart, and your soul, he, you got him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. For real. Um, and that's just the truth. Like, I mean, God loves the physical, physical, physical qualities of a woman, right? That's what God doing, and that's cool. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, um, but I know, for, I know for a lot of ladies, it can be tricky. You know, what I'm saying it can be tricky because, you know, sometimes you don't know what it is with these dudes, man. Sometimes you don't know, you know. But <laughs> God's saying a lot of stuff. I know it can be tricky, man. You know, but like I said, I'm speaking in terms of just. A long term thing, you know, versus you know, long term thing. So, and he, this goes with men and women, in my opinion. You know, uh, so from a guy's point of view, if we if we really trying to build with a woman, you know, um, we like to be around her, we like to see her, we like to take her out, whatever. But we really like to get to know her, you know, see what see what her mind is like, see what her uh, family is like, you know, see what type of decisions she makes, you know. Um, See how she how she spends her money. See what her priorities are. You know, see the things she dislike. See what makes her mad. You know, what makes her laugh. You know, we like to learn these things. You know, but when you when you when you just take your time, you give yourself time to really see if 
this this is, this is somebody you really be with. And sometimes it ain't gonna work out. Sometimes you're gonna take your time, and it still ain't gonna work out. You like, hey, but that's good though. Cause you would you, would you rather take your time and, and and really see, or just rush into it and get you know heartbroken, you know? Um, you you don't have to rush into things. But everybody have a different concept, like. But I think I, I think they were. But I, I don't I don't think that's really celebrated in this day and age, 2017. People don't seem like they want to take time. People don't seem like they want to build and grow. You know, um, I don't know. Uh, I've seen I've seen things where, you know, seemingly, seemingly it seems like maybe a woman wants you to disrespect her. I don't, I know no woman wants to be wants you to disrespect her. I'm not that silly, you know. But sometimes it seems like that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, just for my guy, sometimes it could it could seem like. I, you know, <laughs> you know, be like the things I thought I'm doing right ain't, ain't working. You know, but anyway, yeah, 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 Oprah man, you're right. Look, like old fashioned dating is not popular anymore, man. Like for real, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, uh, it, it, well, I ain't gonna say it don't work, but it's just it's just not popular, like you said. It's really not like courting and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's an old word. Yeah, that's for my time, but it's cool, man. It's it's, it's cool. But I think from my perspective, I do think that women, black women, have a harder time dating than guys, you know, just because, you know, when black women, black women particularly more so have it together a lot more, you know, black women, they kind of got their finances in order or, or close to having it in order, you know, they got their degrees and stuff, um, you know, more time, a lot of times they got a house or whatever car. It, it, they, they have a lot of things in place already. You know, and then a lot of times guys are kind of getting it together. So it's, it's like an imbalance. Or a throw. it's, it's like a, a switch up on general roles, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I can imagine that can be frustrating to a woman. If she have all this stuff, man, maybe a guy may not have it, but he might be a good guy or whatever. You know, so a lot of times ladies, they run into a lot of knuckleheads who's trying to, who's trying to like leech off of her. You know, sometimes guys can be deceptive with that, you know, and, and it can be a burnout. I've seen that too. I've seen a lot of ladies do that and just get burned out and be like, yo, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've seen it, man. I've seen it. So we got to be honest about that. You know, that that's, that's the reality, you know. Um, but I've I also seen a lot of guys have, have it together in, in a good way or just, you know, just, just have it all together and a woman wouldn't accept it, you know. Um, it don't work, man. But yeah, the old fashioned thing, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't speak on this, man. I, I speak on this because you know it's, it's the things I've been through, things I've been seeing. You know, just then I've been I, I observe a lot. I observe a lot. You know, sometimes I feel like a fish out of water out here. I be like, yo, do they do they? I don't know. Um. Also, yeah, back to taking back to taking your time. So. Like I said, you know, I believe you gotta take your time with it and, and, and just and just do it. You know, everything in the day and age is fast, fast, fast. Or maybe that's the way to go now. I don't know. You know, but I still believe that building and growing is still the good old way. It's like you're gonna get a car, you take your time and see if this is the right car for you. You know what I'm saying? You take your time and see uh what's wrong with this car, the ins and outs of the car, you check everything, and then you make your decision. You know? And I'm not and I know this this alluding to Taking people for a test drive. No, I'm not saying taking people for a test drive. And y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I'm alluding to. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. I'm making a comparison saying that. Sometimes you got to take your time and see if this is the person that you, that's really for you. You know? Sometimes you may, you, you're not going to be able to know in a, in a quick... In a quick... Um, sometimes you're not going to know if you're rushing. If you're really trying to be with this person. If you're just trying to have a good time with somebody, whatever. That's different. You know? It's a whole different conversation. A whole different context. You know? Everything. But, um, so this day and age, we got a lot of blended families, you know, um, it is what it is. And it's just different from, 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 what, it, from what it used to do. Let me sip on this water right quick. Mm. But yeah, man, like I said, the gender roles and the old school values, I don't even know if they matter anymore because it, it, it just don't seem like it. From what I'm saying, it really, it really don't. It, it really don't, man. I, you know, it don't seem, it don't seem like it to me. You know, I, be, I, I be wondering. I be, 
I was like, yo, now I, now I say I grew up a certain way and I seen these things work. I know they work. I ain't no doubt in my mind. Ain't no no doubt in my mind that, that certain things work by, by observation and by experience. I know. I know it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's hard trying to convince somebody else of that who ain't seen it, man. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's hard, son. You know? Like for real, for real. Like me and my guy, me and my guys, my guy friends, we all around the same age. You know, we all cool dudes. You know what I'm saying? We all mature, got a head on straight and this and that. And we see a lot, we talk about this stuff. We see a lot of stuff out here, you know. Um, and we all like from the same generation or whatever. And we, we, it be blowing our minds sometimes, you know. And and when I'm, I'm speaking, you know, from from both sides, you know, for, for men and women. But most of the men's side, is what we seeing. Because even, even the guys out here in the day and age doing some wild stuff, you know, doing some wild stuff. I got some homeboys, some young homeboys. Early twenties, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boys wilding. I mean, that's part. That's part of being young. You know, but at the same time, I'd be like, "What y'all boys doing, man? What what is this?" <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I just think it's a lot of men dating in 2017, especially if you're like 25 and up. Most of like 28. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's just different, man. It's funny to me, though. I laugh, I laugh at a lot of stuff. It's all good. But, um... Um, what I was about to say. Yeah, so... Um, I seen something online. I seen a, a, a video online. I was gonna repost it, but I ain't wanna repost it because I feel like it's gonna... I, th I feel like it's gonna further divide us. But, but y'all probably seen it. It says that it said, dude, is there anything that we can hold black women accountable for in 2017? And it's a very, it's a very controversial, a very controversial uh, video, man. You know, and I was like, nah, I ain't repost that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it just, I don't know. But I brought it up because it's, it's just another thing that I see uh, in the black community that relationships are it's just a big topic in our, in our community. It's just a big, it's a, it's a huge topic. And, um, but that, I'm not really gonna get into the particulars of it. But that is kind of speaking some speaking to some of the frustrations of men, and I, I'll, I'll read some of the comments. Some of the women are, are, are frustrated in that too, but it tells me that everybody just frustrated of what's going on with each other. So it tells me that everybody need to get the act together, um, and do right. <laughs> do right. 2018. That's that's gonna be our new slogan. Do right, man. Do right. People just gonna do right, then, man. Um, Someone hung up Christmas the other day. People just won't do right. But it's cool, man. Uh, I'm about done with this, man. I just, it, it was just some stuff I had in my mind. I was seeing. God observed a lot. It's been a long year. You know? I'm back to taking your time, man. Take your time with people, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with having a good time being friends, this and that. You know? Um, but I do think we need to go back and pick up some of these old school values. Because it, it's helpful. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's very helpful. Um... It's helpful, man. Like taking your time, being with people, make sure you're doing the right thing. Some of the old school values still work. It, it, it helps weed out a lot of bad people, you know. Um, I seen I seen a lot of stuff too. Like sometimes you treat a woman a certain way, and maybe in a good way, quote unquote, for whatever that's worth. And sometimes she reject she reject a lot of a lot of women rejecting a lot of things. The day and age, it seems like to me, um, like like for me example like. You bring a lot. You bring these old school values to a new school world, and it's, it's just, a lot of women just pushing it out, pushing it out, you know. And then you look, and you see the same person. I know this is true for the ladies. It's two the same person. 